I just got my vacuum pump. This is model LAV3 backslash G, which is the one with the gauge. And it is an impressive 30 pounds of pure pump, half a horsepower, uh, tested to about 25 microns. And we'll do some more specs later on. Now, when you get this and you unpack it, the first thing you need to do is put oil in it. And I'm gonna show you how to um, check the gauge and fill the oil in that right now. So right now this is showing empty and it always gets shipped empty and you have to fill it up. It's very easy to fill. We're going to go over that here in a second. The oil fill cap is right on top. It takes about a whole quart of oil, but just always add it and constantly check to make sure you're not overfilling it. So I got the oil in and it's right at that fill level mark. So we have the appropriate amount of oil for this to go now. So the filling is very, very straightforward. The gauge on the end is, makes it very easy to see what the level is. Now one thing that is most important are all the specs, which I will share with you in just a moment. But another thing that you can't get from a website is just the noise that a pump makes. This is 70 decibels, and what I'm going to do is I have a microphone right here, so it's closer to my voice. I'm actually going to put it halfway between both of us, so it's between me and the vacuum pump. And I'm going to talk normally while the pump is on. Okay. Now, pump's going to make noise, but compared to other ones that are out there, this is really quite quiet, but also very, very powerful. So if you do have to have this in the lab to do an experiment, it's not going to drown out your conversation or the information you're trying to impart. Some general troubleshooting tips. Okay, always make sure there's enough oil in there. If you feel the oil is contaminated for whatever reason, change it, put fresh oil in. It's very easy to do, the oil is not that expensive. Also, don't let it sit. If you're done with this for a semester or many months, drain the oil, put it back in a bottle, and let this sit stored empty. You don't want the oil to be, become sludge on the bottom of it. Also, for whatever reason, if you need maintenance or if you need a different powered pump, please contact your distributor and they'd be happy to point out a different pump or help you with maintenance and cleaning of your existing pump. 